Hello, welcome to our fourth day of the poem Animal Talk. So today we're going to read it together. Then I'm going to have you read it all by yourself. And I know this is a hard one because there are some hard animal names in here and the sounds that they make can be hard, but I think you can do it. I think you can read it. And then I have a fun word game to teach you today, an AR word game that you're going to get to play with your family. I think you'll enjoy it. Ready? Here we go. Animal talk. Ducks quack, bears growl, geese honk, wolves howl, hens cluck, horses neigh, bees buzz, donkeys bray, cats meow, dogs bark, birds chirp in the park, turkey gobble, cows moo, tigers roar in the zoo. Snakes hiss, pigs squeal, hyenas laugh a great deal. Owls hoot, mice squeak, animals love to speak. Great job. And I love how you're reading those AR words, just like our focus is this week. Now it's your turn. Here we go. Give it your best shot. Great reading. Well, I'm going to come up close because I'm going to show you your game board. I'm going to give you a game today. Sorry about my chair noise. Okay, here we go. This game is called Four in a Row. Have you ever played Connect Four with the yellow and the red going down in? If you have, you're going to enjoy this game because it's very much like it, except for there's a little twist. You're not putting the little reds and um, yellows in, but you are going to need a family member to play with you. And you're going to need two different colors. So maybe two colored crayons or two colored pencils or two markers, as long as you have two different colors. Okay. So here's your four in a row board, and I'm going to send this to your parents on our class dojo, okay, so they can get it. And this is what you're going to do. You're going to pick any R word on here that you would like to read. Now, there's one word on here. It got missed and didn't get changed to an R word. So you're going to get one easy word on here, but the rest are all your R words. And you're going to pick one. You're going to point to it and you're gonna read it. So I'm gonna go for an easy one. Are you ready? I'm gonna point to it and I'm gonna read it. K -r car. If my adult says I read it correctly, I get to take my color crayon and color it. If by chance they say I didn't read it correctly, they're gonna help me read that word and maybe I'll get it later, but not this time. Then it's my adult's turn. They get to pick one, they get to read it. You better make sure they read it correctly and they get to color their word. Now you keep going until you get four in a row, all connected that are the same color. So you might go for four in a row up and down that are all connected the same color. Or you might go with four in a row across that are all connected the same color. Or you might go with four in a row in a diagonal trying to catch, connect those to make them the same color. But here's the tricky part. Our parents know how to play this Connect Board game. 
they're probably not going to let us just easy peasy lemon squeezy boom 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 get four in a row. They're probably going to make us work hard for it. So they're probably going to come in and if you read these two, they're probably going to read this one and block you so you can't get four in a row. No pouting, no crying. That's not fair. You have to just keep working, keep working hard. See if you can trick them and get four in a row without them seeing it. I'm going to give you a hint. You can usually trick them diagonally a little bit. Maybe they won't see it coming. When you do four in a row this way or this way, they see it coming. But four in a row diagonally, sometimes they don't see that one coming and they miss it. Okay? So do your four in a row game C. But even if you can't beat them with four in a row, make sure you don't let them beat you. Watch out. They might try to get four in a row on you. Keep your eyes open. Block them if you need to. If they're going for four in a row. And they get these three. Don't let them get the next one. You read that word and color it, okay? Block them. Don't let them get it. All right. And I want to know who wins your game. You can send me a little message and say, I won the AR game or mom won the game. Or we tied. Nobody won. We all blocked each other. Whatever happens. Have fun playing four in a row today. Bye-bye.